So welcome to 2019 KCSE Mathematics Paper 1, question number 1. And in this question we are told without using mathematical tables or a calculator, evaluate. So we have 5.4 all over divided by 0 0.025 multiplied by 3.6, uh, you get yourself 3 marks. So before we do this question, let's find out uh, what is expected of you. First of all, you are instructed not to use math a mathematical table or a calculator. And if you use, you are likely to use uh, not to get any marks because uh, the examiner will know that you have used. This is because what is being tested here is whether you know how to remove the decimal places uh, from this fraction and then you simplify. So that those are the requirements that you should follow or instructions. So if you look at the numerator here, we have 5.4, that is one decimal place. The denominator has 0 0.025, those are three decimal places, and 3.6, one decimal place, so that uh, add up to four decimal places. So we need to, rem to move these decimal places of 5.4, uh, uh, four decimal places to the right. So we have five, uh, we, have, uh, we have one, uh, that is 2, 3, and 4. So that will be 54,000 divided by, uh, now this will be 25, uh, multiplied by 36. So we now have uh, 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 whole numbers, which we can uh, simplify. So you divide here by, by 9, we get uh, 4. We divide by 9, we get 6, 0, 0, 0. We divide by 4. Uh, we will get 1 uh, and 5, uh, that is 1,500. We divide by uh, by 25, this will give you 1. Divide by 25, uh, that should give you 6, 0. So the answer is equal to 6, 60. Uh, that is what you should get. And by doing that, you get yourself or you earn yourself 3 marks. So that's how you go about this question. A very simple question because you know paper 1 comes from uh, form 1 and form 2 work and this is where you should actually capitalize so that uh, when the two papers are added you have uh, you will be able to get a good grade. So thank you for watching and uh, watch uh, the other questions that are coming. So 2019 KCSE Mathematics Paper 1, question number 2, we are told express 1,728 and uh, 2,025 in terms of their prime factors, hence evaluate the cube root of 1,728 all over divided by uh, the square root of 2,025. So before we start doing this question, let's understand the success of passing mathematics is uh, the, 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 the skill of uh, understanding the question and what is needed. So the first part we are supposed to get the prime factors, prime factors. Then the second part we evaluate. We, are, we have we are, the word hence is used, meaning that when we come to get the square cube root of 1728 and the square root of 2025, we will use the factors that we have already worked out, not the calculator or any other uh, method. So once you understand that, you should be able to get yourself four marks. So let's start by getting the factors of 1728. You can get, use uh, any method that you are comfortable with. I'm going to use uh, this method. Uh, so we have, uh, this is 1728 we have we start by 2 and we should be able to get 864 you get uh, 2 you should be able to get uh, 432 uh, you should be you divide by 2 again you get 216 uh, you divide by 2 uh, you get uh, 108 you divide by 2 you get 54 you divide by 2 you get 27 divide by 3 you get uh, 9 and you divide by 3 you get 3 what this means is that uh, the, the prime factors of uh, this number that is uh, 1728 is the same as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 uh, multiplied by 2 
multiply by 3, multiply by 3, multiply by 3. These are the prime factors. Uh, then we are going to use uh, to get the prime factors of uh, uh, 225. You can use this part here and say this is uh, 220, 2025. So this is a uh, 2. Now when you divide by 3, not divisible by 2, you should be able to get 675. You divide again by 3, you should be able to get uh, 225. Uh, divide again by 3, you should be able to get uh, 75. Divide again by 3, you get 25. Then you divide by 5, uh, you, get, uh, you get 5. So the prime factors of uh, uh, this number that is 2025 is equals to 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 uh, multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5. Uh, so from there we should be able to now to we are through with the prime factors then we should be able to get uh, to, to simplify this. So it means that the cube root of 1728 uh, here we will take uh, that is 1, uh, 2, and 3. And here we take 1, 2, 3. So it means that uh, the cube root of uh, 1728, uh, that is a cube root, divided by the square root of uh, uh, 2025 should give you, uh, should be able to give you, uh, this will give you 4 multiplied by 3 divide by the other one you take the square root you get this and this so it is a uh, nine multiply by five you simplify here by three you get uh, is one this is three so our final answer is four divide by 15. so that's how you work out that question it has taken us time but when you are doing it you should take uh, uh, less than two minutes or something like that so thank you for watching and continue watching. So this is just a sample of uh, how I have worked out uh, 2019 KCSC paper one and, and we also we are more, I'm working now on paper two. So we have number three, uh, the question was that, that the Juma left home at eight, uh, that a.m. he drove a distance of 140 kilometers and arrived at his aunt's home at 10 15 a.m determine the average speed in kilometers per hour for juma we have a uh, question number four looks like that i've worked it out this is question number five uh, then we have question number six given that uh, the cube root of cube root of mm -hmm. nine to power four is equals to three and find the value of n that's another question i've worked out uh, this is question number seven. I have also worked it out, uh, the whole of it. And this is question number eight. We are told the retailer bought a bag of tea leaves. If the retailer were to repack the tea leaves into smaller packs of their 40 uh, grams, 250 grams or 350 grams, determine the least mass in grams of the in grams of the tea leaves in the bag. I've also worked that one. Uh, this is number nine. Uh, this is number ten. Uh, this is on conversion, and that is a uh, thick form one work. Uh, this is vectors form two work. Uh, that is vectors one, uh, which I have also worked out. Uh, this is another one. Uh, you are told using a ruler and a, a, a pair of campus construct a robust uh, pqr is such that uh, pq is equal to six and angle p so here you are being tested whether you know how to construct angle 75 uh, measure the length pr so remember angle 75 you can get it by first of all uh, constructing an angle of 60 which you are taught in form 2 uh, then you construct an angle of 15 by bisecting an angle of 30. That is after, after, uh, before you do that, you have to construct uh, an angle of 90 uh, so that you get the angle of 60 and you bisect the remainder by uh, 
two that is bisect this is on inequalities you did that i think in form two uh simplifying inequalities you solve uh this is on uh, matrix uh singular matrix i should be able to know what is uh, what we refer to as a singular matrix uh then we have a number 15 uh we also have a trader um, bought two types of bulb a and b at a cost of 60 shillings and uh 56 respectively she bought a total of 50 bulbs uh of both type at total cost of 2008 2872 shillings determine the number of the type a bulb that she bought so i have also worked out that this is a uh, uh, uh bearings which you did in uh, form one uh this is uh, part two of the question uh this is uh, we are told uh, a rectangular tank measures two uh, to four 2.4 meter long uh two meters wide and 1.5 uh meters high the tank contains some water up to a height of 0 0.45 meters calculate the amount of water in liters needed to fill this is a very challenging question and it is good that you see how we work it out so that in future you can be able to work on that this is 17 we go to 18 this is a uh, uh, gradient which you did in form 2 that's where you are supposed to apply the knowledge then 19 is on uh, rotations uh, that is uh, rotations uh, then we have uh, number 19 20 uh, this is uh, you are supposed to get the height so on uh, we have up to 24 uh, so 22 looks like that so you can uh, whatsapp me and uh, you will be able to get the full paper of uh, this 2019 paper 1 mathematics so you can whatsapp me using that number I will guide you on how to get full paper Remember, you like, comment, and subscribe to Teach Amtani channel, and you'll be able to watch lessons and KCS papers that are already there.